Hello everybody, today Pops is going to read The Ugly Duckling. Hello everybody, <coughs> this is a story from Europe, specifically from Denmark, and it's called The Ugly Duckling. One summer, Mother Duck had six fluffy yellow ducklings, but when the last egg in the next in the ne nest cracked, out tumbled an odd grey duckling with a long neck. The other birds in the farmyard laughed. You're an ugly duckling, they said. You don't belong here. Mother Duck told them not to be so unkind. But while she was looking off the rest of her brood, the other birds pecked at the grey duckling and made his life miserable. One day, he ran under the hedge to the hide, disturbing a flock of sparrows. I must be ugly, he thought. Even the sparrows fly away from me because they're afraid. The ugly duckling felt so unhappy, he decided to run away. Blinking back his tears, he waddled off across the fields and meadows until he came to a marsh where he met a family of wild ducks. What an ugly duckling, exclaimed the wild ducks. You don't belong in our family. The ugly duckling crept away into the reeds. It seems I don't belong anywhere, he sighed. The next day he left the marsh and walked on until he came to the lake. None of the birds there made him welcome. So the ugly duckling was left to find a home amongst the water weeds alone. Oh, how sad. Autumn came and the weather grew colder. One day, a pair of beautiful swans flew over the lake as the ugly duckling stared at their dazzling white feathers and elegant necks. A feeling of happiness flooded through him. I wish I could be as beautiful as those birds and fly with them on huge white wings, he sighed. But the swans soon disappeared beyond the woods and he was left alone once more on the grey windy lake. Autumn turned to winter, the lake froze and the ugly duckling shivered amongst the frosty reeds with no one to help him find food and shelter from the icy north wind. Just when he began to lose hope that the winter would ever end, the lake began to melt and the ugly duckling felt the warmth of sun on his back. Spring had arrived. He preened his feathers and stretched his wings. To his surprise, they had grown strong over the winter. The ugly duckling raised his wings and swooped up in the air. I'm flying, he cried excitedly although there was nobody to hear. He flew around the lake and then onwards to explore what lay beyond. Down below, he saw a sparkling river and there to his delight were the beautiful white birds he had admired in the autumn, gliding through the water with their heads held proud. The ugly duckling landed on the riverbank and watched them shyly, but the swans had seen them. Come swim with us, they called. The ugly duckling looked around, thinking that they had spoken to somebody else, but there was no other bird nearby. Who me, he said. I don't belong here. I'm just an ugly duckling. Come into the water, said the swans. The ugly duckling stepped timidly into the water and the swans glided over to greet him. Look at your reflection, they said. And he looked at his reflection. A beautiful white bird stared back at him with a fine curving neck and dazzling white wings. What's happened to me? said the ugly duckling in astonishment. His companion smiled. You were never an ugly duckling. You were a signet and now you've become a swan. A beautiful swan no longer ashamed. I am a swan, he required. He cried. Great happiness flooded over him. At last he knew where he belonged. I am a swan! 
Good night. Good night, everybody.